All right, today we will discuss about delta, gamma, theta, vega, and rho. Okay, so this is very uh, basic, I'll, I'll explain. So we are not focusing that much. So basically we are focusing on um, Greek, uh, among the Greek delta, and uh, theta and vega. Rho and gamma, so I'll, 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 I'll explain, but it's, uh, it's uh, not important for me actually that much. All right. Okay. All right. So let's get started. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Now let's understand delta. So it's important. So we are focusing on delta when we are trading. All right. Next, we are focusing on theta and uh, sometime vega. All right. Okay. So let's uh, suppose that this is a, a nifty chart. So let me show you. Okay. This is a nifty chart. So let me tell you. Right now, price is somewhere here. Remember, let me tell you about the delta. Okay, first the delta. Now uh, here, so let's check it delta D. Uh, D, uh, it's uh, showing 0 0.41. All right, somewhere here. And G for gamma, uh, it's showing 0 0.0004. 0 .0 and the Vega, V4, volatility, it's showing 3.9, uh, let's say nine round figure for your understanding. And th here theta, T for time. All right, it's just showing minus 5.5. 5. And to row H, so it's a rate of change. Okay, it's okay. Uh, it's just showing 0 0.4, that's it only. Is it, is it, uh, is it visualizing? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now? Now? All right, all right. Okay. Okay. Everything okay, nice, nice. Let, let's, okay, let's understand first. Very, I, I want to explain very easily. No need to go very deep. Like technical indicator, we are, uh, we, we know how to use exactly in a right place, in a right figure, right? Same method, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to use delta, theta, and vega in a right uh, time, all right? That is the important thing. So let me explain what exactly. Most of the people are thinking, hey, this is very important. Uh, yeah, it's important, but uh, most of the people are only focusing on this thing. So I'll show you when we are analyzing and when we are constructing uh, option trading strategy, what type of delta figure we need, what type of theta we need, what is the vega rate we need. So that is the important thing first. So let's get started. Uh, right now, uh, price is, uh, what is the meaning of 0.4? So let me show you two things here first. Mm, one is here, uh, this is called actual price. All right, uh, this is nifty and this is the nifty price right now, remember. Let's say nifty price is right now running around 10,000. All right, this is the right now, current price, it's running. And 
we are uh, we are looking for by all right remember we are looking for by uh 10100 call option so our view is bullish we are looking for by call option now all right 100 point above in between this area there are 100 point difference all right so we want to buy uh, this call option okay now when we want to buy this call option suppose this strike price 10100 strike price rate is running around uh, let's say 30 all right let's say 30 that means 10100 call option are right now running at 30 this is the call price all right this is the call price remember so this is the actual value and at that time we want to buy this let me let me use somewhere here okay somewhere here all right now see uh, this is the 30 right now they are running in a 30 this is the call call option price and this is the uh, current price current price and we wanna buy this is the strike price all right we wanna buy so now delta is showing 0 0.4 means if one rupees nifty price goes one rupees high at that time option price will increase point four pesa have you make sense have you make sense is it clear okay right remember what what is the so don't think like that no 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 point four pesa means you can say 40 pesa 40 pesa remember point four means 40 pesa not a exactly one less than one rupees or 50 pesa means 40 pesa is it clear point four means it's a showing 40 pesa means it goes 100 rupees means 40 rupees will increase that's it only all right very simple don't be confused don't think like that uh, uh, real price goes one rupees option price will increase not like that who is showing what is the rate of increasing the option price it is showing by delta okay all right okay so let me uh, one by one so in the same time so um, okay so 40 rupees means i'm just okay just let me show you yeah i'm just telling uh, in a round figure right every time they are changing every time they are changing all right so means actual if you want to see like uh, it is showing like uh, 0 0.4 uh, means it goes like 100 rupees above this uh, this thing means it will increase 40 rupees right like that okay all right all right that's it only nothing okay so now you can see we have seen uh, delta is showing us the rate of 
increase of this option price okay now what actually gamma is showing us now here you can see gamma is showing 0 0.004 for every stack price, there is different gamma, delta, theta, everything will be different. All right, don't be confused. So I'm talking about say, like one specific stack price. Okay, now you can see, first here you can see when price gone up one rupees, our option price increase means 30 point, for 30 rupees point for 40 pesa. Now at that time our option price is 10,001 rupees. Now suppose again price gone up to 2, 10,002 rupees. Now you can see here, first they, they were increasing by 0.4 and gamma we at the next time this point zero zero four so when price are going up so every time this delta rate will change okay so simply delta is the speed of the car gamma is the accelerator this car is running like 50 kilometer per hour per hour and when will uh, it's running like you are just giving some accelerator so later it, their speed is increasing to 5 55 rupees uh, kilometer again you are ac accelerating all right it's gone to 60 kilometer per hour means that is the basic concept that delta is the st speed of this uh, simply delta is a speed and gamma is a accelerator all right when delta is increasing gamma also adding uh, in delta okay so that is why it's not important so it's uh, showing like 0 0.002 0 0.004 that is the range so that is why we are not focusing on that much okay gamma is clear Delta and gamma, is it clear? Okay, it's a, just focus on delta. Okay, we need gamma, it's okay. Uh, that is not that much uh, big factor. This is only 0 0.004. So we don't need that much thing. All right, so that means they're they are, uh, increasing the speed of delta, right? That means they are, they are helping to increase the option price to faster. When, Price is going toward this uh, price, and uh, they are increasing that mass only. Okay, that is all right. Next, another important thing we need the theta. All right, this is very easy to understand. So most of the people are using like that uh, delta and gamma is okay, and the theta means time. All right, theta means time. Okay, now we can see this is called theta. So this is the most important thing for option seller or option writer. So at that, uh, this is like a, uh, a money-making machine for everybody. Okay, let me check his voice is disturbing. All right, all right, theta. Uh, theta means T for you just remember time. All right, theta, uh, T for time. Okay, so what exactly theta means? So suppose I bought this uh, call option. All right, uh, I bought call option like uh, mm, uh, this one, 10,300. So I'm expecting, okay, let me shake it. Now, voice is clear. Voice. 
Okay. All right. Okay, nice. So suppose my view is uh, bullish. So I'm expecting uh, like within 30 days, within 30 days, all right, within 30 days, right now price is somewhere here and I'm expecting that within 30 days, price will go up to 10,300. All right, so I wanna buy this call option. I wanna buy this call option. All right, so I have 30 days to expire, all right, to expiration. I have 30 days. Now, suppose today I bought and I'll hold my position up to 30 days. All right, I'm expecting that price will go up up to this level. Now, what actually theta are telling? So suppose here theta, all right, theta is showing minus 5.5 .5 means if I hold my position every day, they will deduct uh, from uh, my account uh it will deduct five rupees every day all right suppose today uh option uh today uh, suppose price gone up to this level and i'm profitable there was like uh, option price i bought by giving 30 rupees let's say and uh, today price uh, it's become like 40 rupees all right all right today now and here around 10,100 price closed. All right, at that time, my option price was 40 rupees. Next day, next day, all right, understand. Next day, suppose price open in a same place. All right, uh, close around, uh, close was, uh, close was market close around 10,100, all right, 10,100 market close. And the next day again open in a same place, 10,100. Now, when price will open in a same place, but my option premium will change. It will deduct from 40 rupees and at that time, my price will be 35 rupees all right so let's say round figure i'm not talking about 0.5 pesa i'm talking about round figure let's say so they, they deduct from my actual option price now it's become 35 rupees see we hold our position for one day all right so that is why my because of time decay it's a deduct five rupees so it's just showing by theta okay i think everybody able to understand right uh, these two things we need okay nice and another and let's say vega what what is the meaning B for always remember volatility. All right. What is the volatility? Now I can see here volatility. It's just showing like uh, where is the volatility Vega? Yeah, Vega. Uh, it's just showing around 3.9. Let's say this round figure uh, four. All right. This is the four. Okay. So it's just calculating the volatility of this option price now uh, we will discuss about implied volatility all right implied volatility so it's just showing every implied volatility where to find greek table um, theta remain consist or it's uh, increasing within within time okay theta also changing all right theta also changing every time all right 
so that is why it is important when we are looking to buy or sell anything so at that time we are focusing on theta all right so we are focusing on theta if i hold my position what what is what what is the or what is the price will decrease all right from that one that is why we are focusing on theta okay now simply another an, okay let me read another one theta is remain no it's increasing okay greek uh, table so i'll show you does vega depend on uh of weeks so vega is a different different so uh, stock market and indices so it's a uh, important uh most of the people are using weeks india weeks or something like that but i'll show you uh, we are using differently uh personally i am telling you i'm not focusing on weeks or another thing so we are using different another indicator all right even i'm not using implied volatility also most of the people are asking me sir why you are not applying implied volatility so it's just showing many things but we are using different indicator all right all right so we'll discuss about that so when we will analyze this one where to see about the volatility okay volatility will okay all right okay volatility is calculating by implied volatility one percent if i volatility change it's just showing four rupees yeah, that that's uh, the very important uh mr kundan kumar is just saying no no it's a depending on different strike price depending on different strike price suppose i'm i'm explaining uh, about this uh, 10300 so it's just showing like uh, uh, theta is showing like that if you want to buy this one there is another uh, theta will be different all right okay and is it clear vega okay vega no vega okay so listen carefully yeah it's a depend on atm uh, otm itm okay okay vega lichen uh heard about implied volatility iv implied volatility heard about yeah okay all right i'll show you i'll show you okay let's understand all right uh, this is called implied volatility one war are uh, there I'll, I'll show you when i'll show you in uh, uh, our option chain so there is a option it is called implied volatil volatility one percent implied volatility change and here uh, this is the vega it's a vega is showing v is showing uh almost four all right four rupees so one percent implied volatility goes up so volatility the uh, will change to four rupees all right okay let me show you how we find this uh, thing uh, everything all right okay mm. next we will discuss about option same all right all right okay now if you wanna uh like suppose if you wanna know about greek uh, option greek you just type on uh, here um, in google you can write uh, option greek calculator automatically they will detect so you can go here and somewhere here you can see this one uh, bin deep or anywhere you will find this one so i just click on there here you can see uh, we have seen this is there uh, um, option greek calculator let's check it uh, uh, right now let me show you mm, this is nifty okay this is the nifty and the current price is showing nine thousand nine eight eight five let's check it here uh, what is there nine eight eight five nine eight eight five and suppose i want to buy 
So suppose I am expecting that price will go up to this level, uh, ten thousand. All right. I am expecting price will goes up to this level. This is a ten thousand. So suppose I want to buy ten thousand uh, strike price. Okay. So it's just showing volatility. Volatility you can check it here. Almost it's staying 10%. All right. So you just put it here. Have you seen it? Mm, okay. Let me use in 10. Okay. Risk per ratio and it's okay. I always stay like 5.5. Uh, it's okay per annum. So it's a calculating per annum. So suppose I want to buy next uh, option. Uh, First day going to expiry and last option this month last 25th, right? So how many days left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine days. All right. Let me write nine. Now calculate. Now I can see they are automatically detect. So let me zoom a little more here. Okay. Now here I can see. Uh, it's just showing option price. All right. Uh, that means if I want to buy uh, that 10,000 strike price, my actual option price is 24.23 right now. And for the put, uh, that is the in the money. So that is why option price is too high. We are not talking about in the money. Let's uh, understand first. Now it's just showing delta. Now see, delta is showing uh, 0.23 means one rupees price goes up. One rupees Nifty price goes up here. 26 pesa will go up. Option price. All right, one rupees option goes up uh, from here. It will add here, right? Okay. Next, the gamma is showing here 0 0.022 means this delta will increase by every rupees 0 0.0.0 to uh, point. All right. And the vega is showing volatility. If 1% implied volatility is changed, and there it will change to 5 rupees. And here you can see theta is showing every day I'm holding. All right. They will deduct uh, 3.18. Rho is the rate of change. All right. Is it clear? Have you seen? Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Impact on row. Row is not impact. We are not focusing on row. Row is rate of uh, rate of change. All right. Is it uh, Vega and IV same? No, no. IV means implied volatility. So it's a calculating. Uh, all right, all right, per annum implied volatility. It's expecting that the price will, uh, volatility will be that percent. All right, uh, Vega is not clear. Okay. Okay, let, let, let me read the, your uh, query. This is the same process for the stock option. Yeah, option, uh, same process. Yeah, same process. All right. Then how Vega is different? Okay. Okay. Okay, let me show you Nifty Sard. And so this is option chain. Have you seen it? Now here I can see this is called implied volatility so let's see this is this sector uh, this 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 is called implied volatility have you seen it so who people doesn't know about implied volatility this is the implied volatility all right 
okay Okay, price is defined uh, by put and call. Okay, one by one, everything will clear. So let me read. People are most of the people are not able to understand the basic. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me read one by one. Wait, wait, wait. Most of the people have many query about that. Uh, why price is different by call and put? Okay, everywhere prices, every strike price, there are different prices. All right, every strike price, call and put, both are there. If I hold a uh, feature two lot for a couple of days, will it impact this uh, two lot with the theta in option? Definitely, it will impact. gamma and delta okay i i'll explain again 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 i'll explain again and i'll explain okay call and put ratio everything we'll discuss step by step first you must know one by one all right you must know one by one asking future lot okay future lot okay future and option will combine everything one by one all right we have different different trading strategy. We'll combine future and option. Sometimes we buy future and we sell option. All right. So sometimes we buy stocks, normal stocks, and we sell uh, like uh, option. So we are combining according to our profit. So we will we'll calculate everything. Okay. And now uh, this is option chain. Uh, most of the people are uh, using to find out support and resistance. But personally, I never use uh, this option chain uh, to find out support and resistance because uh, I am very sharp in uh, technically. So I use the technical tools. All right. So I I'll explain how people are using. But I'm telling you clearly, I'm not using. All right. Okay, that is uh, all right, Sandeep Kumar. If IV means intrinsic value or implied volatility, both are them. All right, there is two word in option. One is intrinsic value, which is we already discussed yesterday, and today we are talking about IV. This is called implied volatility. All right, and both are IV, IV. So don't be confused. Implied volatility and intrinsic value both are different thing all right but uh, like ib ib both are same one ib means ib one ib means uh, uh, that is called implied volatility implied uh, volatility and another ib that is called intrinsic value both are different thing remember now today we are discussing about Intrins, uh, uh, in implied volatility we are not talking about intrinsic value all right okay let's guess uh, let me tell you this option saying okay okay let me tell you one by one all right so first here this is called option chain where you get this option chain it is very easy you just click on uh, somewhere here in google and click on option chain option option chain so it will be automatically detect this is nsc india and just click on there any website uh any column here so it will be look like that this is called option chain all right no need to confuse to what is that what is xyz so here first column if you want to see the indices so here is the indices only all right so if you want to uh, uh, charge any stock, so you just are uh, right here, right to Reliance or so like to Reliance. All right, so you just give it to last expiry date, June. Mm, June, like 25 June, That's, that is the last. Where, 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 Reliance. 
Mm, go. So they will detect from here. So you can find, you can see this is the Reliance uh, option chart if you want to see. So we are focusing on in this only NIFT. Okay, that will be good. All right. Now this is called option chain. All right. Okay. Okay. Now it will appear like that. So everything will be same, but uh, their strike price and another open index or X Y Z will be different. So let's see. Mm, what is that? This is a uh, op. Uh, Nifty, all right. So Nifty. Now you can see some uh, colon here. So most of the people are confusing. All right. It's very very simple. Let me tell you. Uh, here we have seen this is called OI. All right. So this one OI. Uh, it means open interest. How many people are how many people are holding their position? That's it. Only nothing or more. Buy and sell. They are holding. All right, so it's a it's a it's a swing here. So means uh, some people around here you can see this is the ten thousand. All right, this is the ten thousand uh, price somewhere here. This is the ten thousand strike price. So means it's just showing uh, like uh, twenty eight lakhs something like that. People are still holding their position. All right, in a in this strike price. 10,000 strike price buying and selling. That is the open interest is showing. All right, this is called open interest. And the sales means this is another column, open interest sales. Uh, what was the yesterday um, open interest and what is the today open interest? It is showing the sales, all right. And the volume, how many people already closed their position? And this column, it's just showing implied volatility, all right. It's calculating by per annum, all right. It's just showing that volatility that mal that person may uh may, may volatile uh, in this year like that all right that is uh, like uh, 32 so we can say like 32 percent so when we'll analyze this uh various type of trading strategy so we'll discuss about this one uh this thing is important uh when we're gonna buy or sell any option all right Gamma okay, let me tell you everything I'll tell you. So another here you can see last standard price here. I mean, this is the option price. We are we are we are, we are, we, are, we was discussing about that one, right? Uh, ten thousand. I wanna buy ten thousand call option, and at that time showing like a twenty rupees uh, option price. All right, premium. All right, twenty rupees premium. So it's just showing this one. All right, you can check it here. All right. And another thing here, there are two person, uh, two segment are there here. One segment, this is the call option. And in this call option, this is called in the money. And this is the out, out the money, ITM and OTM. That's all we already discussed, all right. And this is the put sector, uh, put segment. And one is in the money and out the money. This look like different here, right? We have seen this is the white. Somewhere. Let me divide it actually. You know, very basic, no need to complicate this area. So here you can say this is the uh, segment. All right, this is the segment. Okay, now I can see here. Mm -hmm. Another here you can see this is the another sector. All right, it should look like that. And uh, in this sector, this is the strike price. All right, net sense, and this is the quantity of bid. All right, everybody need, need, uh, everybody knows, right? Uh, ask and bid, buy and sell. All right, this one ask and bid, bid price, and this is a strike price. Simply, <clears throat> which strike price I wanna buy? Suppose I'm expecting that price will go up. All right, uh, right now price is bullish according to us. We are expecting that price will goes up. So where where where? Uh, like suppose I wanna buy around, we are expecting this is a strong resistance here, resistance, resistance. So I wanna buy uh, 10,200. So here you can see what is the actual price, 10,200. So let me show you 10,200, 10,200 is somewhere here. Now you can check it. Uh, stack price is running 16, 16.35 uh, rupees. All right, so it's just showing like that. 
stack price. I want to buy this stack price. So we are expecting price will go up and right now their uh, premium is, their premium is 16 rupees. That's it, only nothing more. Than. And this sec sector is put sector. So I want to buy put. I'm expecting, suppose I want to buy put. So uh, most of the people are thinking, suppose I want to, uh, price will drop from this area because of some XYZ news and I want to buy this put option, all right? Suppose this is 9,700. Let's check it uh, in option chain, 9,700, 9,700, this one, 9,700, right? This is a strike price I wanna buy. So we are thinking that price will drop to this level. So at that time, you can see this premium is selling at 45. Okay, that's it only. Is it clear? It's a basic, very basic. All right. Okay, where can I find that Tita? Okay, all right. Tita, Tita Gamma means open interest yesterday since in open. All right, open interest is generating today. Yeah. So where you'll get this uh, Gamma Tita? I already told you. Just you go through Google and search like that. Mm, option price calculator. All right, you just search open, uh, sorry, option price calculator. It will appear many websites are there, it available are there. So you just put there, okay. So who people are here doing option, like we have Allied Blue. In Allied Blue, we have uh, that call uh, Sensible. So in that Sensible software, everything are available, all right. Okay, demand and supply, everything we'll discuss about, uh, when we'll discuss about various type of trading strategy. All right, how, uh, okay. Support and resistance by option. Yeah, most of the people are using uh, support and resistance by using option chain. So they're, they are focusing on open interest. They are focusing on open, open interest. Right now, here, here you can see where is the highest open interest means how uh, highest people holding their position, all right? So now I can see, uh, recently we have seen uh, around 10,000, all right? 10,000, there is a highest open interest, have you seen it? 10,000, there is highest open interest and another highest in, in open interest around 10,200. And the next open interest is showing around uh, around 10,500, that is the highest open interest from here. Mm, 10,300, that is the out, out, out of the money. Now you can see, let's check it. Where is there? Uh, 10,200, 10,300, 10,500, let's check it. First highest open interest near 10,000, so somewhere here. So we are, we no need to use, uh, actually I'm not applying. So here you can see highest open interest is showing, <coughs> sorry, uh, maximum open interest is showing around 10,000. So exactly here you can see 10,000 is there. All right, so uh, right now here you can see there is 200 exponential moving average are there. Have you seen it? But I'm not using this one, all right. I use uh, these moving averages as a support and resistance. Automatically, they are detecting uh, open interest or at highest open interest, according to my analysis. All right, next, uh, showing 2,000, oh, sorry, 10,200 highest open interest. So here you can see 2,000, uh, 10,200 somewhere here and 10,300. So exactly this previous higher point, have you seen it? That is the another highest open, in the, open interest are there. Have you seen 10,300? Let me zoom here, you can see. Now, have you seen it? Highest 10,300, 10,000, that is the highest open interest. So exactly we have seen there is a resistance according to uh, technical analysis. So I'm using technical tools, all right? So they're, <coughs> sorry, they're finding Okay. 
now you can see here uh, there are open interest have you seen it automatically detecting that one all right so um, you know most of the uh, big big trader even they are using technical tools technical analysis they are doing all right so it's it's uh, working same like that here you can see we have seen highest open interest in 10,000 we have seen this is a 10,200 exponential moving average next we have seen uh, open interest somewhere uh, 10,000 took okay. 300 somewhere 300 300 yeah highest open in there's 300 all right 200 so you can see everywhere there are resistance 300 200 200 you can see here two resistance multiple rejection are there all right so somewhere here have you seen it this is the multiple rejection this is the resistance multiple rejection all right so we are using uh, these technical tools and after that we are constructing different different trading strategies in this market all right so that is uh, the basic okay okay when we will analyze uh, we will construct uh, different trading strategies well so i'll explain everything if you start is showing all support and resistance then why uh, should anyone go through oil oil data so I don't know about that. I don't want to criticize about them. They they feel comfortable uh, by using open interest. Uh, most of the people are very difficult to find out support and resistance by using this technical chart. And uh, they people are using open interest. They are automatically clearly it's indicating where is the highest open interest are. Uh, right. That is why people are using open interest. But who are technical trader who know how to find out support and resistance perfectly, not perfectly, uh, they know better than they are using. So we are using this support and resistance because we are technical guy. All right, we are we are doing trade by using technical tools, and we are definitely uh, we can we understand about that. That is why we are using. And the rest of the people who uh, don't try to uh, analyze that much the market, they are going to direct option chain, and after that they focus on open interest, and they are uh, doing various type of calculating. And every day they are focusing what is the change, what is the uh, right now open interest, what is the volume, everything. After that they are um, they are placing support and resistance. All right but i'm not using i'm not against this one uh, that is the most important thing uh, i'm telling personally i'm not using okay that's that 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 is so all right okay all right uh, how to define uh, from which point index is bullish and which type to buy all right okay nice nice uh, so this is the most important question how to define from which point an index is uh, bullish which type price so that is why we need uh, we need delta gamma theta and vega not gamma I'll see delta all right we need that three things delta we need delta will tell uh, tell us the rate of changing so we are focusing that strike price all right okay okay sure okay do you have any query so tomorrow we will discuss different trading strategies so let me show you all right so tomorrow we're gonna discuss uh understanding the long call and long put all right we're going to understand this one step to execute long call when very bullish and or when price is very very so let me show you one thing here somewhere here okay okay so tomorrow we're going to discuss these two trading strategy when price is very bullish 
we will construct this trading strategy at that time we will focus on gamma sorry uh, delta theta and vega we will focus on these three things when we gonna uh, buy all option when price is very bullish and we will construct this type of carrying strategy all right okay means when price is very bullish we act their profit is unlimited all right but loss is very low all right next when price is extremely dear is so we will use this trading strategy so tomorrow we're gonna discuss this two trading strategy okay so tomorrow we will discuss about okay how to understand when buy call and put so i'll uh, tomorrow we will discuss when to buy call and when to buy put all right one by one uh, how how uh, do we know price give more yield and how to know the stack price give more everything we'll discuss everything we everything everything we'll discuss tomorrow all right one 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 when we will discuss about various type of trading strategy then we come to know when all right so suppose uh, let's see uh, suppose from here all right uh, right now prices uh, so suppose this is the nifty and uh, right now price is running like that so at that time what type of option trading strategy we will apply here how we are identify so everything we will discuss i'll show you seven uh, sorry uh, yeah most important seven trading strategy uh, we can trade in any direction or any market all right there are very high difference in call and put option interest <coughs> what is the source at? okay so one by one we discuss this one so right now 824 so okay okay most of the people are messaging me and about my course all right so this is my technical analysis course that means what exactly let me explain here all right, this is technical analysis course actual price is 10,000 rupees so i gonna release in my website very soon all right 10,000 rupees uh, very soon all right most of the people are asking me but when i will upload this uh, course uh, the cost will be 10,000 because i have to pay money uh, like uh, what is called actually i don't know it's uh, already uh, going on mm, some plugin or something buying some there taking charge or something like that i don't know about that uh, actual cost will be 10000 but uh, right now uh, who are my student i'm selling them uh, 2500 all right and till 30 soon so after that i'll upload my this course in my website uh, cost will be 10000 but if you want to buy this one so you just message to me so from one from monday uh, today's uh, what tuesday all right uh, from monday i'll send to you if you want to buy this one definitely i'll send you uh, directly all right so mail or to whatsapp whatever comfortable i'll send to you all right if you want to buy by giving 25 otherwise this cost will be once i upload this one so uh, this course will be fixed okay so in that course we are covering uh, how to find support and re resistance uh, so we are discussing about option right there so i told you right uh, i'm not using option uh, open interest i'm using technical tools to find out support and resistance so we are discussing about this one and we are applying bouncing trading strategy so at that time when i told you right when price is uh, bullish so at <laughs> sorry when price is bullish 
uh, we are applying this type of trading strategy we are applying this type of trading strategy so at that time we are focusing on bouncing trading strategy all right uh, okay so we are discussing about this one and the next how to identify the trend all right and how to pick stock for intraday most important candlestick pattern counter trading strategy position sizing and money management impulse pullback trading strategy trend retracement trading strategy pin bar trading strategy gap uh, gap scalp trading strategy gap up gap down scalp trading strategy trading psychology surfing trading strategy and uh, position sizing calculator and trading journal i'll send it position sizing calculator and the trading journal like how to uh, maintain your trading journal okay this is counter so sorry it's the end i forget this one a spelling mistake it's okay all right uh, so we are covering in this course okay from monday uh, i'll send all right Sorry, <clears throat> all right, one by one, let me read the, uh, read the, your comment. Session two, you are get the recording is the same. Okay, the option paid course. No, this option is not paid. This option is totally free. In this course, I'll show you this uh, like seven trading strategies, seven trading strategy here uh, five strategy are there one two three four five and another extra two trading strategy i'll show you when uh, earning report when earning report are releasing at that time how to trade all right uh, before one day how to construct the option trading strategy all right we are constructing option trading strategy that type of stock uh, option trading strategy we are constructing any direction market goes will be profitable so another uh, personally i'm a trading option uh, so that is another trading strategy all right uh, there are seven trading strategy i'll show you here but another most uh, complicated trading strategy are there that that will be paid course okay 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 let me read one by one it the running very fast comment is no okay all right uh, okay good evening all right comment is running too fast too fast all right let me read uh okay technical course as a previous content different so it's a totally uh, professional uh, this one so whatever i can so i explain but uh, these courses is because uh, this is totally professional course all right so first i was selling in udomi right now i send it okay the technical analysis course paid uh, for separately or same content which is earlier webinar yeah it's a totally a uh, little more different a little more different not exactly same a little more different for paid is a software copy training courses online okay uh, is there any difference between paid and free technical course yeah a little more different are there all right i'm showing many things are there uh, will this uh, recording session available for us definitely it will be available but the company uh, company will uh upload in our youtube channel is there any difference between paid and yeah yeah there are different totally a little more different are there yeah it, it is recording automatically uh, is there any difference between yeah it's a little more different but uh, i'll tell you page strategy will uh, get that no uh, if you want to buy this course so you can message me so you can uh, buy directly from me uh, till 30 june so 
after that i will upload in my website all right so you can buy from there after 30 the cost will be 10000 now uh, who are attending my uh, classes so if, if if you people wanna buy so you can contact me and i will definitely send you yeah. is it there any difference between so there will be different So your technical post paid available on videos uh, still not uh, available in my website so it will be available very soon is it there any advanced course yeah definitely because personally i am trading uh, by using that one all right we have a paid group also so we are discussing this one because i am focusing on that thing basically um, I need to learn all about the options. So yeah, definitely. Uh, so if you wanna be a good option trader, you must know the technical thing where to buy. Technical are telling us where to buy in this market, where to enter in this market, and when to enter in this market. Technical are telling us, and option we are constructing that method. All right. First, we must know the direction of this market. So technical are telling us the direction of this market. And after that, we are constructing different different trading strategy in options. Okay, okay, okay. How will uh, deliver to us? So uh, I'll send you through uh, what is comfortable. You can call me directly. You can connect me. So you can contact me. Uh, we can uh, transfer uh, to you uh, laptop to laptop, or if it is possible, then I'll. I'll transfer via WhatsApp, whatever comfortable for you. Via email, whatever you want. Zip file, whatever you want, so you can download from there. Or I'll upload in YouTube and I'll give it to link and you can download from there also. So there are many ways. Okay. So not now. From a Monday, I will. I'll. Okay, I'll. I'll start uh, giving you. All right. Okay. Now, sir, post is support and resistance will be drawn, EMA and or which only. So we are using different different method at that time. Can you get the recording for this? Yeah. Sure. 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 Okay, guys. So I hope you understand uh, what is Greek. Uh, option Greek and option same. So uh, when we will construct different different type of trading strategy, so definitely uh, we will we'll learn many things like Greek, uh, Gamma, Theta, everything we'll discuss again. So who people are not able to uh, find my YouTube channel, you just uh, write down my name. My name is Dupen Gugui. All right, you just write my name. In YouTube, uh, you will find my YouTube channel. D W I P E N G O G O I G O G O I. So, okay, this is my YouTube channel name. All right. So, thanks for your giving your valuable time. So, hope uh, you understand how to read option Greek and option Sane. And let's see you tomorrow. Good night.